today's video class is the top three things you need to know about firing and killing and not setting yourself on fire. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys find some good some good stuff in the, in the following video. And I look forward, as always, to uh, seeing that you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below so that I know what you guys thought. Uh, keep, the, keep the conversation going on, uh, below, and I look forward to seeing you guys, as always, next class. Alright, so the final thing we do need to talk about as far as clay stuff is that you need to know is this big shiny thing. This thing right here. This is the kiln. The kiln is where we bake all of our ceramic goodies. Alright, so in the kiln right now, I love I love this one because this has this cool digital uh, thermostat on it. And right now my kiln is sitting about 1,325 degrees. This one I'm taking up to a cone 6, which is going to take me about to almost 2,300. It's in that 22 and a half range. Uh, but <clears throat> slowly starting to climb. Now, on the side over here, I've got some vent plugs. Now, this is plugging up some vent holes that I can do a couple different tests on. Now, the one test that is most kind of the consistent test for everybody is the burn test. And what I like to do the burn test for is if you don't have a digital readout on the side and you want to know if the kiln is too hot to take the lid off of, you grab some. All you have to do is grab a little piece of paper. Now, take the little paper, roll it up into a stick. Voila. Now, once you have your stick, the thing that you need to know is this. Paper burns at about 450 degrees. A lighter will, will ignite at 500 degrees. If you hold up a kiln barometer, which is this thing, a special little tool, tells you how what the readout is of the kiln, uh, tells you how hot everything is, all kind of fun stuff. The If you hold the end of it into a lighter, it only register about 500 degrees. This is almost three times that at this point. So it's super duper hot. So I'm gonna take my little bit of paper and safety, put on my welder's gloves. Now the welder's gloves are gonna protect me from when I take the plug off to do a burn test, I don't burn my fingertips. Now why would you gonna why would you need to do a burn test? Well, if you don't have a digital readout, and this is going back to what I said a second ago. If you don't have a digital readout, and you don't want to open this up because right now if I was if I were to open it up I have 60 degrees uh, temperature in here where this is, my room is really cold <clears throat> I open it up all that cold air goes inside of it all of the mortar that's holding those bricks together shatters and hits me in the face that could kill me which I don't want to do so to protect myself I'm going to take out one of the plugs stick the paper into it to see how fast it starts to burn now if your paper burn, burns paper burns at 450 degrees. If I take a piece of paper, put it in the vent hole, and it just starts to char a little bit, starts to get a little bit of brown to it, that tells me that the kiln itself is lower to 300 degrees or less. And now why do I need to know that? I need to know that because then I know when I can take the lid, open the lid up to take the wear out without burning my fingertips or injuring the kiln, which then injures me, which is a big problem because that's a lot of money to fix things. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take up one of these pegs and if I turn the lights off this, uh, well it's not going to glow yet, it has to get a lot hotter than that. <clears throat> I take my paper and I can stick it into the edge like so, and it's on fire. So that is how you do a burn test. You just stick it in, test it a little bit. Now. Take my vent. I gotta plug this back up because of what the fire I'm working on. So, when you're doing a test, when you're doing a kiln run, you want to make sure that your kiln is not so hot that you can't work into it. There you go. Cool. Because otherwise, this becomes a big safety concern. So, FYI, make sure that you don't make it so hot to where you can't touch it. All right. Also, I have to say this because this happened one time. This is super hot. Right now, it's saying 1341. If I was to touch the outside of the kiln, I would burn myself. Why do I have to say that? Because somebody touched the outside of the kiln and I kind of told them not to, and then they said, ow, it's hot. Things to think about. Hey class, I hope that you liked that last video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe down there at the bottom. Now I'm going to get back to uh, doing my thing, which is uh, work on my own stuff.
also uh, don't forget to follow me on the web. I got a bunch of places you can find me, such as Pinterest. Or t- no, not not we're not doing Tumblr. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Group Me. That's a new one for me. And Steam. Uh, and my personal favorite, YouTube. Check me out. Like and subscribe. See you guys later. Next class. Follow. See you later. Next class. Do your homework. <laughs>